Hello everyone, myself Shivanki Desai. I'm your instructor for the video series of Python for Data Science. Today's our topic is Network X Library. So in this video lecture, we will going to explore this library and we'll check how we can work with the graphs and nodes. So let's get started. To work with the graph, we first have to import Network X Library. So here I'm importing this library as NX. Also, for visualization, we need to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Now, I am importing this line magic function that is matplotlib in line for additional support to our IPython. Now, to create a graph object, we have to use the method nx.graph. So, I am calling this method inside our g. So, g is now our graph object. Initially, it is empty. To add any node inside this graph, we have to use add underscore node method. So using g dot add underscore node, I am passing this value to my node. Now, if you want to plot this node, if you want to check how many nodes are there in our graph, we have to use the method nx dot draw. So inside nx dot draw, I am passing g and using plt dot show, I am going to plot this node of our graph. Now you can check from the result that this is the node inside our graph. Initially this node is without any label. If you want to show the label inside the draw method, we have to use with labels parameter. By setting with labels is equal to true, we can see that now our node contains the label. If you want to add more than one nodes at a time, then we have to use add underscore nodes underscore from method. Right. Remember this point, to add a single node, we have to use add underscore node method, but to add more than one nodes at the same time, we have to use g dot add underscore nodes underscore from method, inside which I am passing range, range from 2 to 11, as we have already added 1, I am starting the range from 2 to 11. Now, I am going to plot this nodes of our graph using nx.draw method inside which I am passing our graph object that is g and keeping this with labels is equal to true. So, now you can check this. Our graph contains 10 different nodes and all the nodes are labeled. Why? Because we have kept this with labels parameter is equal to true. Now, if you want to remove any node from the graph, we can use that remove underscore node method. So, using g dot remove underscore node, we can remove specific node from the graph. So, in this case, I am removing the first node and using draw method, I am going to plot what is the content of our graph. So, now we can check this, our resulting graph does not contain the node 1, right? The node 1 is removed from the graph because we have called this g dot remove underscore node method. Now, if you want to know how many nodes are there in our graph, to check that, we can call the method g.nodes. This method will return a tuple that contains the numbers of the node or we can say the labels of the node. Now, the question is how we can add an age between the nodes. So, to add an age between the nodes, we have method add underscore age. To use this method, we need to use the graph object that is g dot add underscore age and in this I am going to pass the labels of the nodes between which I want to draw an age. Using draw and show method we will print the content of our graph. So now you can check there is an age between graph 1 and graph 2. Now if you want to change the color of the nodes you can do that using node underscore color parameter. So here in this parameter I am passing R. R stands for red color. So now my nodes are printed in red color. Also we can change the size of the nodes. If you want to change the size of the nodes we have to use the parameter node underscore size. Here I am passing the value 500 to enlarge the nodes. So let's run this code. So now you can check this that the nodes are comparatively larger in size than the previous output. Now to add more than one age at the same time, we have to use the method add underscore ages underscore from. Again, you need to remember to add a single age, we have to call the function add underscore age, but to 
draw multiple edges we have to call the function add underscore edges underscore from so using g dot add underscore edges underscore from method i will pass the node labels between which i want to draw the edge so here i am passing a list which contains the pairs between which i want to draw a edge now using draw method i will be plotting my graph so let's run this code so yeah, as you can see here the node 1 and 3 has a age, 1 and 2 has a age, 1 and 4 has a age. As I have passed 1 and 3 and 1 and 4. In previous code, I have also draw a single age between 1 and 2. So now in resulting graph, my node 1 and 2, 1 and 3 and 1 and 4 are connected using a age. We can also able to draw a weighted age between the graph. If you want to draw a weighted age, then we have to use the method g dot add underscore weighted underscore edges underscore from. So this method is used to assign weight to the edges. Now inside the list we have to pass third argument along with the pair of the nodes. Along with the nodes that is 1 and 5 I have to pass the weight that I want to associate with that age. So here 1 and 5 are the labels of my node and 7.5 is the weight between that age. Again, 5 and 7 is the node between which I want to draw a age and 6.3 is the weight associated with that age. To draw a complete graph, we have the method complete underscore graph. So here I am taking another graph object that is Z and inside which I am storing NX dot complete graph. Also I need to pass the value that how many nodes we want in our complete graph. So I am passing the value 10. So the resulting graph will contain 10 different nodes. To check how many nodes are there in our graph we have the method nodes. Now to check how many ages are there we have the method dot ages. To check the order of the graph, we have the method order and to check the size of the graph, we have the method size. Now in this code, my graph object is z. That's why I'm using z.nodes to check the number of nodes, z.ages to get the number of ages, z.order to get the order of my graph and z.size to get the size of my graph. So let's run this code. So here you can check that there are total 10 nodes starting from 0 to 9 and here is the list of ages between all the nodes. Also there is a size and order of the graph. Order of the graph is nothing but the number of the nodes that is there in the graph and size of the graph is the count of the ages represented inside the graph and here is our complete graph. Complete graph is the one in which each node is connected with each other node of the graph. In simple words, all the nodes has an edge connected with the all other nodes of the graph. That is called a complete graph. Next topic is adjacency matrix. So to work with that, first I am initializing a new graph G using NX dot complete graph inside which I am specifying five nodes. So let's run this code to check how our graph will look like. So this is my complete graph with 5 nodes. Now to get the matrix value of this graph, we have the method nx.2 underscore numpy underscore matrix. So this 2 numpy matrix method will get the matrix value from the graph. For that we have to pass the graph object inside this method. So here I am storing the matrix inside the variable a and using nx.2 numpy matrix method and in bracket I am passing the graph g. And at last I am printing the value of this matrix. So let's run this code. So as you can see here, it will return me a matrix or we can say adjacency matrix of the graph G. Now if you want to check whether there is any weight associated with the age or not, for that also we can use this matrix. So first I am initializing a new graph WG using an x.graph method inside which I am adding nodes using add nodes from and I'm passing the range 1 to 6. So this will add 5 nodes inside my WG graph. Now I'm adding weighted edges inside the graph. I'm adding weighted edges between the nodes. 
that is wg dot add underscore weighted underscore ages underscore from and in bracket I'm passing the values for the ages. So this values contain three different numbers. The first two numbers represent the labels of the node. So I want to draw an age between one and two node and third number represent the weight that will be associated with that age. So I want to associate 7.5 on the age between node 1 and 2. Next I want to associate the weight 6.3 between the age of node 2 and 3. Now using this annex dot 2 numpy matrix I am getting the value of this matrix of wg and I am storing that value inside variable a. So let's run this code. So here you can check the weight that I have associated between 1, 2 is reflected in the matrix on the position 1, 2 and 2, 1. Same, the weight that I associated with 2, 3 is reflected here on the matrix at 2, 3 and 3, 2 columns. Now if you want to draw a graph from an adjustancy matrix, then we have the method from numpy matrix. Using this ma uh, method, we can draw a graph from the existing matrix. So here I am calling this method nx dot from underscore numpy underscore matrix inside the variable h and I am passing the value of matrix a that we have created in this code. Right. So let's uh, run this code. So it will return our complete graph that I have created in the previous code. Now if you want to draw a graph from completely random matrix for that we have to create this matrix np dot matrix and for that we need to import numpy because np dot matrix is a method of our numpy library so here i am importing numpy as np and using this method np dot matrix in which i am passing the value of the matrix now using the method from numpy matrix i am going to draw the graph from this matrix value so let's run this code so this is how the graph looks like based on the value I have passed inside this matrix. Now if I make some changes here, this will be reflected on the graph. Now the graph will look like something different. Next is cyclic graph. If you want to draw a cyclic graph, for that we have a method cycle underscore graph. Now first we have to import the library network x as an x. Uh, from this library we can call the method cycle underscore graph inside which we have to pass the count of the nodes that we want inside our cyclic graph. So I want to draw a cyclic graph of 10 nodes that's why I'm passing the value 10 inside my cycle underscore graph method and I'm storing this inside the G. So G is now my cyclic graphs object. So using annex dot draw underscore network x method I'm going to draw the cyclic graph here. So this is how our cyclic graph looked like which has 10 different nodes. Now if you want to draw any age between any random nodes, you can do that using add age function. So here I am placing an age between node 2 and 5 in my cyclic graph. So let's run this code. So now my graph will look like this. Here the cyclic graph has an age between node 2 and 5. So this is how we can work with the network x library. Using network x we can work with the different kind of graph like complete graph, normal graph or cyclic graph. As well as we can also work with the adjacency matrix. So that's it for this lecture. Thank you.